Hey everyone, welcome to Your Best Flow. This is Roland and this is the third episode of the second season, How to Cleanse the Elements that Make Up Our Physical Bodies and uh, that Will Keep Us Out of Hospital. Because if your elements are too dirty and too contaminated, then your body gets out of alignment. You know, it goes out of alignment with the existential reality. So your body starts to get all kinds of problems, chronic ailments, and so on. All right. So if you listen to the previous modules, I spoke about the air element and the water element. And um, basically, I just explain that the percentage in your body is very important. All right. Like the water element counts for, for most of your physical body. So that's why I speak about it um, in the first episode. You know, if you only focus on the water, element it it will make an insane difference in your life you know and um, so will focusing on the earth element so the earth element counts for 12 percent of your physical body and um, basically there's a few steps that i like to do uh, every day so that i can just keep this part of my my physical self clean you know and if you are looking for a bit more stronger stronger ligaments and you know stronger joints and easier muscle building you know leaner stronger physical body um you know it's a very good thing to focus on the earth element to eat the right foods to to have a good connection with that element like going outside and walking on the grass um, with your bare feet working in the garden i sometimes just like to help my mother just Get my hands dirty, you know, in the garden. There's a certain energy that that you get from the planets, you know. If you really look at it, you'll see that our bodies are just the earth recycling itself, you know. Because the way we get our food from is from the planet. And we then digest the food. And the food then goes inevitably into our cells. So the cellular system has a rejuvenation side. You know, it, it rejuvenates itself. It regenerates new cells and the old dead cells then fall away. You know, I'm sure uh, if you went through school, you'll, you'll understand this. Um, so there's a certain cycle process, um, a cleansing process that life does. You know, even animals clean themselves. So you need to keep your cells clean. Like, taking a shower you know you need to also keep your internal body clean and when you do this when you clean your cells when you introduce good nutrients and uh, authentic nutrients into your body your cells become more alive now i want to, you to really think about this if every cell in your body feels alive is bursting with exuberance all right and ecstasy then do you think you will have a depression or do you think you'll have a bad day? The way you feel is going to inevitably have an insane impact on the results in your day. So this should be the first focus point, all right, the most important thing. And I'm sure you'll, you'll agree with me when I say that your body and your mind functions at its best when it is in a relaxed state, all right? To get it into a relaxed state, it cannot be contaminated because your body is always in this suffering, um, w wastage of energy mode, you know? The survival mode to try and clean itself the whole time. It's like an engine working way, way too hard over time. That's why your body doesn't last. That's why you get all these ailments because you're telling your body, hey, I don't like you please die. That's basically what you're telling yourself. So it's important to, to get the right nutrients into your cells so that you get yourself clean and alive. And doing this, and it takes a little bit of time, you know, it's not going to happen overnight, you know, you've introduced a lifetime of horrible things to your body. So it will take a couple of weeks to a couple of months to get it really 100% uh, clean. You know, there's a much faster way, a um, uh, fasting technique that I, that I did a while ago. I don't really recommend it because it's quite horrible. 
it's uh, yeah i won't go into the details of that maybe I'll, I'll make a little episode of that sometime but um i would recommend just slowly introduce more alkalizing foods into your into your body you know foods that that are like fruit vegetables you know they have a really high water content as well make sure it's authentic stuff you know don't buy chemically contaminated stuff and you know just add a bit more salad you know what i like to do is i make a big bowl of salad you know just a massive one that i eat throughout the day and i typically take you know a couple of mouthfuls about a half an hour before i eat a normal meal you know it's good to have that fiber in your stomach and um, and obviously it will alkalize your body more and more the other thing you can do is when you drink water, add a little bit more, you know, alkalizing stuff like lemon. Lemon is really good. Um, in my programs, I suggest turmeric and neem. That's also an amazing thing. But anything that alkalizes your body, you know, don't give up on the acidic stuff. You know, it's, it's still got its importance, you know, your, your proteins and your carbs and stuff. But just try to balance it out you know these days you also have tests where you can test yourself how acidic you are and so on but you know when you reach a certain sensitivity level you can actually start noticing your body becoming more acidic you know your joints just becomes more stiff you know like there's less oil in there um you you find a hard time to to eat more food you know Personally, I get a lot more nauseous in the morning. My stomach burns. I don't know who can relate to this, but but um, yeah, when your body becomes more acidic, you know, you, you start experiencing problems. You can feel your your physical self is not happy, and um, more on a more deeper level, you know, your elemental scale, um, your elements are not clean, and uh, your body is suffering. You know? So when you look at in a perspective of that, we only have one life you know um, and in the perspective of jupiter the planet our life is like a butterfly's life you know only lasts a few days so when you look at it in that perspective and you remind yourself of that you wouldn't want to to make your body suffer you want to to make it feel alive because before you know it it's over you know, so you might as well just get the most out of this life. And th the only way you can do that is through getting your body and your mind to work for you and to keep it clean. Okay. What I mean by this, this is the only way you can experience life is through your body and your mind. You cannot experience your life any other way. What I mean is, see, if I look at my computer right now i'm not looking at the computer where it is i am only looking at it from how it is projecting through my lenses my eyes into my mind i'm only seeing the image that is reflecting in my mind i'm actually not seeing the computer where it is and also if you if you take your hand and you touch the table that you're sitting at right now or whatever you'll feel that the table has a certain temperature, okay? But if my hand was a 1,000 degrees Celsius right now, then this table would feel boiling hot. But it's not because the table changed temperature. It is because of my senses in my hand comparing. Okay, only because my internal temperature changed. So I'm only experiencing the sensations within my hand. I'm not actually experiencing the table. So with that, you understand that the only way you can experience life is within yourself, all right, internally. So if you make your internal experience wonderful in the way you want it, then the way you look at life becomes very different, becomes very different. So I really recommend just adding, again, just a reminder, add a little bit more alkalizing foods into your day and just slowly do it. You know, don't, don't do it too aggressively because then, you know, your, your habit side of things will reject it. You know, your mind uh, will, uh, 
will find ways to not do it. Okay, it's very important that you do it subtly. You know, start little bit by little bit, and just remind yourself, put an alarm on if you want. That's what I did, because <laughs> sometimes if you get busy, you forget. You know, and then you lose consistency. And also, if you can, just take a walk with your bare feet on the grass once a day, just for a few minutes, half an hour. That's what I do. Walk the dog, you know, play with the kids. It's very important, guys. Um, you know, um, don't believe me. Just try it. You know, it, it works. Um, you might not notice anything in the beginning, but as you do it consistently, subtly, things start changing. You know, you notice life becoming a little bit more pleasant every day. and m- more and more pleasant you know not just little tidbits in your day but actually feeling pleasant and joyful for longer periods you know and so on there you go so you can take those little action steps if you want and if you are looking for a little bit you know a little bit more closer and more personal um, experiences with me i have designed a a free uh, modules where you know, you can just take it for yourself. It's a personal routine that I do um, to just boost me into the day and it works like a bomb. So it's it's yours for the taking. You can go to www.yourbestflow.com and uh, you can just put in your email there and I'll send it to you. And you can use it if you want or lose it if you want. Doesn't matter, but it's there for you. Guys, thank you very much for listening and I'll see you in the next episode.